So one of my favorite things about teaching classes live is the interaction that I get with the students. And I had a really cool thing happen recently with my student, Andre. Shout out to Andre. We were talking about how to create planes in SolidWorks, and I explained that what you can do is you could pick this face here, roll the model around, hold control, pick this face here, let go of control, then go into your S key menu. So you press S, fly out the reference geometry plane, and boom, you've got a plane that's bisecting those two faces. And he said, hey, you know, there's a faster way you could do that. And I said, oh, I can't wait to learn about this one. And this was during a training class called Toby's Advanced SW Part Design. We're actually teaching this class a little later this month. So if you're interested in learning more about sweeping and 3D sketching, lofts and uh, guide curves and multi-body design and patterns, well, you should head on over to twotalltoby.com slash training. You can sign up for that upcoming class later this month or maybe some of our other classes. All right, so I'm working with Andre. I'm explaining to him, you know, pick one face, then you could press the S key, bring up your reference geometry plane command, and then you could offset that reference geometry, that plane to a new location. And he said, hey, why don't you just modify your context menu? That way, as soon as you click on that face, the plane creation tool shows up. And I said, that's genius. And so I did a right mouse button on the context menu. So first you click on the plane or the planar face, then you right mouse button on the context menu, you choose customize. And then what you do is you go down here to reference geometry and you just drag and drop the plane creation command right onto your context toolbar. And so now if you pick a planar face, boom, you jump here to plane, you type in the distance 0.25, enter, enter, and you've got yourself a new plane. Or you pick this face here, hold control, pick this face here, let go of control, you choose plane, and a new plane is created mid-plane between those two faces. Or you choose this face here, hold control, pick this edge, let go of control, you choose plane, and now you're gonna be creating a new plane at an angle. So we can say that's gonna be at 75 degrees. Or how about this one, parallel to this face at a point? So what I could do is I could choose this point here, hold control, choose this surface, let go of control, and boom, creating a new plane parallel to that surface at that point. Now, the one thing I notice about this context toolbar is that if you are selecting points like parallel to a point or normal to a curve at a point, you wanna choose the point first. So if I wanted to be parallel to this face at a point, I would choose the point first. So this point down here, hold control, choose the planar surface, let go of control, plane, and boom, there we go. So similarly, if you were doing a sweep and you wanted to create a new plane perpendicular to a curve at a point, pick the point first, then hold control, then pick the curve, let go of control, plane, and boom, perpendicular or normal to the curve at that point. Right mouse button, okay. So total game changer, saves me a ton of time. I've been using it ever since he showed me this. If you guys enjoy learning about these advanced part design techniques, consider signing up for the training class a little bit later this month to talltoby.com slash training to sign up for that class. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for some more Power Moves.